Hi, I'm Olivia Grace. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm a senior director of product management at Slack. I'm here with my colleague, Katie Steigman, whose pronouns are also she, her, who's a product management director. At Slack, we strive to offer capabilities that help our customers collaborate and stay connected wherever and however they choose. We know that teams are looking for a great place to truly co-work alongside their colleagues, all while retaining the flexibility that they want and need. That's why Katie and I are really excited to demo a new way of co-working in Slack huddles. The new co-working space in Slack huddles is designed for spontaneous discussions, ad hoc working sessions, as well as making real-time collaboration in the digital HQ feel as flexible, inclusive, and connected as working alongside your teammates in the office. Katie's about to tell you more, and I'm just gonna remind you that everything we're sharing here is embargoed until 6 a.m. Pacific or 9 a.m. Eastern on the 22nd of June. Katie. Thank you, Olivia. So many of you know Huddles recreates the casual, informal discussions and working sessions that you miss from the office. So say I need to quickly hash out an idea or concept with my team. Instead of scheduling a 30 or 60 minute meeting two days out from now, I can use the brand new Huddles features to quickly spin up an ad hoc conversation with my team for deeper collaboration while keeping it casual and fun. I can see in the sidebar that Olivia started a Huddle in this channel. Anyone in the channel can see this, so it's easy to join into ad hoc conversations. We wanted to approximate the experience of being in the office, seeing a few people talking at a desk, and just walking over to join. But you can also just invite someone to a huddle directly, and Olivia has sent me an invite, so I'll accept that and join the huddle. You'll see that the default option is audio only, so you can have the same lightweight huddles you're used to when that's all you need. But there are times when I might want to turn on video, and we'll be adding that as well as a bunch of other features that we think will help people in more collaborative working sessions. So here I'll turn on my video. And I can stay right here, or I can now expand this huddle into a new window, which gives me a little more room to multitask. And it also gives me more room to look at screen shares and files in a more spacious view. Olivia just shared her screen with me, so I can expand this window to look at this. This lets me look at presentations, docs, whatever it is that you want to share and collaborate on with a little more room. We've added multi-screen sharing so two people can share their screen at the same time for easy switching, and you can also draw on screen shares to highlight something specific. You've probably noticed that this huddle has its own dedicated message thread so that everybody can share notes, links, and files throughout the conversation. Olivia just shared a doc with me, so now I won't lose it because this thread gets saved in the channel where the huddle started, which I'll show you in a moment. You can also share files. So if Olivia shares a file in channel, I can click on that file and view it directly in thread. Here I can view this file and that just gives you the option to use screen sharing or file sharing depending on what works for you. And the helpful thing about sharing all of this with me in thread is that this thread is shared back in channel. So I'll be able to access this thread uh, during the huddle or after the huddle. Moving back to the window, we've also added reactions to huddles, both to help with more expressive communication when you're muted or when video's off, but also just to make things a little more fun when that's the right tone. So you can see Olivia is sending me a few reactions and I can send a few back. Here's a heart, I can send a thumbs up. The other thing we've added are some animated reactions that we're calling effects. So I can send confetti, it has a little sound. I can send hearts uh, to show my support um, whenever I feel like adding a little bit more expression. We also have stickers for when you want to raise a hand and I can lower my hand as well. And those stickers will be persistent until you remove them. You've probably noticed that we have background themes here in huddles and we've created a few categories of backgrounds to get a little to give a little bit of a sense of place and set the tone for your meeting. So Olivia has changed the background to something a little bit more relaxing and a little more fun. Lastly, we'll continue to support live transcriptions and huddles and the whole experience will be fully accessible. And that's your new co-working experience in the Digital HQ. We hope this demo is helpful and we hope that you enjoy Frontiers. Thank you.